short video is about some do's which I strongly recommend in case of moving to a new home. Recently I had to relocate and um, I made some mistakes so I thought let me uh, make this video so somebody will benefit out of it. The first thing is when you have to pack up your uh, items make sure that you put them all into corrugated boxes or plastic boxes and label them. Uh, even if you do not want to have the sub classifications made, have broad headings like the kitchen, utensils, makeup items, uh, reading room, something like that. So when you have to search for something, you don't have to end up opening half a dozen boxes looking for whatever you're looking for. So the first thing is label your items. Put them in corrugated boxes or plastic boxes so that it doesn't break and label them. This is the first point. The second one is um, there's something called as the moving day kit. It's very important for you to store clothes, uh, your medicines, your uh, you know your slippers and other things, whatever you require uh, during the mo moving process. I underestimated my time. I thought I'll move in a day's time, but I took a couple of days to move in, to completely move in. And in the process, I realized that you know I was. Ha uh, out of clothes and I had to go looking into each of my corrugated boxes to uh, find what I want to use. So I recommend you to have something called as a moving day kit. Uh, then there's something else called as the post moving kit. And for this I, I would also suggest that you have the kit uh, ready for a week. For example in my own case I moved on the weekend like maybe Saturday and Sunday and Monday was a day of work. So it was very difficult for me to find my day's uh, you know, necessities. So I had to end up searching and pulling up so many things and making them, uh, you know, <laughs> what is a mess, a bigger mess. So it's good to have a post-moving kit and I recommend you to store your clothes or your accessories, whatever you require for a week in a separate box. So, you know, you're not uh, disturbed too much. Uh, the next one is, bit adieu to your neighbors. It's okay if you haven't spoken to them over the years or over the weeks since you stayed uh, in, the, in the house. But when you're moving, it's good to let them know that you're no longer going to be available there and uh, give them your contact number. So in case there's any parcel or any, any post that comes along, they will contact you and uh, it's good to you know bid adieu to them, maybe with a box of sweets or maybe with a plant. That's a nice way to say bye. Uh, the next is when you have to pack up your glasswares, you can wrap them up in clothes. It can be old clothes, it can be clothes which you are using, it can be saris. I normally use my saris to wrap up my glasswares. So that actually prevents it from getting damaged during the transit. Uh, the next one is when you move into your new house, uh, just check the dimensions and measurements of the room. I don't mean that you need to go and you know measure it exactly. Just do a, you know a kind of a bird's view measurement so that you can visualize uh, your furnitures in the new house. And in case you feel there's no space for a certain thing, then you can think of ways of getting rid of that furniture, or in terms of a sale, or in terms of giving it away for nothing. Uh, this will prevent you from you know getting a congested look in your new house. So have a visual um, a treat, a visual uh, you know, setup of your house before you actually move in so you know where you want to place your TV, where you're uh, going to place your kitchen shelf or your reading room, etc. One more thing is to, uh, they say that when you bring certain things to your new home, it brings you good luck of health, prosperity and success. Some simple things like bread, some wine or juices, uh, maybe some rice. Uh, some water, some candles, like you know, to show, symbolize uh, brightness. So these uh, few items you can, you know, keep them in your new home before you start your transit. This is just a sentiment, and if you want to do it, you can do so. And uh, the next is, don't forget to disconnect your phones, your phone lines, your cable lines, your internet connection, your everything else, which you know, which requires where you are paying, paying for it. Um, and it's good you disconnect them and inform the concerned offices that you're no longer going to be residing there, especially the electricity bill and stuff.
stuff like that. Next is you need to also inform your tax department, uh, your courier services and your post uh, postman or postwoman that you're no longer going to be here. Well, if you've lived over quite some time in the same place, I'm sure your postman or postwoman must be familiar to you. So they don't go by address. They see your name and they know you live here, but you need to let them know. Before you transfer your products, anything that is you know, worthwhile like money, gold, anything very dear to you, you make sure that you put it in a place or in a bag that which you will be carrying. Uh, don't give it to the movers and packers or to the any, any friends or known people who are helping you in the process. Your valuables are valuable to you. So I recommend you, uh, if it's jewelry, you wear it on or you have it stored in a bag or in a box and you be in charge of it. And uh, before you actually set up your furniture in, into your home, uh, make sure that the entire house is free of insects. If required, do the necessary spray, spraying up and then you move in. So that's it. Have a nice time moving.